What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Miss Maggie T with the Atlanta Falcons Nation. If you're new to the channel, I want you to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss another post from me. But let's go ahead and get into these news and updates about these Falcons. A little bit of news going around just a little bit. And one in particular is um, dispute or disagreement going on between Terry Fontenot and Arthur Smith. Of course, for that quarterback position, nonetheless. You know, it looks like they may have been at odds, but now it's been reported they're now on the same accord, whatever, you know. But basically, you already know that it seems like, of course, and it's obvious, you know, we kind of got rid of a lot of our backups, you know. A quarterback position will have to be addressed, nonetheless. But he did have an interview recently where he kind of addressed the reason why they are evaluating all these quarterbacks, and he stated it's critical because that's a position that regardless of where you are at your starter, we're so excited about Matt Ryan, but we have to evaluate every one of these quarterbacks. Um, not just for now, when you think the big picture, if you have an opportunity, for example, Trevor Lawrence, when you have an opportunity to see that player in person throw, then you have to take advantage of that. Even if you're not going to have the opportunity at him this year, you don't know what's going to happen three, four, five years from now in the future. So you want to take advantage of that in-person exposure. That's why we see every single one of these quarterbacks. We want to, as much as we can, get to them, see them in person, and just take advantage of those exposures because it's the most critical position in an NFL, and we want to stack the quarterbacks. It's a prime time to do it when you have a player like Matt Ryan because when you can get into the right quarterback, you don't have the pressure to play him right away. So it opens up so many possibilities. We have to make sure we're evaluating those positions and we feel good about where we are there. Absolutely. And he already kind of said every position is going to be addressed and, you know, um, they're going to be picking the best candidates. You know, it's going to be a competition, you know. So as well as even though the Falcons did finish 4-12 in 2020, Let's not give this credit to Matt Ryan. He still played at a solid level, completing 65% of his passes for about 4,581 yards with 26 touchdowns and 11 interceptions. Ryan, you know, he's turning 36 in May, so there's a reason to believe he may have maybe just a few years left, particularly if Smith can replicate the effective ground attack he put together um, as that offensive coordinator in Tennessee. Now, where do the Falcons decide to select Ryan's successor, don't go with a quarterback, or trade the pick? Of course, there should be plenty of buzz going around that number four overall pick for the Atlanta Falcons. Whichever decision they make, it's still out there in the open. We don't know which way they are going. So, there are some top quality picks out there, and it's not even at uh, quarterback position. So, Pitts. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> But let's go ahead. Speaking of quarterback, though, it does look like the Falcons will be visiting um, Justin Fields' second pro day tomorrow, actually. They'll be joining the Patriots and 49ers in Ohio State um, to view that as well. So, And it looks like all three staffers will be in Columbus for this day. So look out for the results of that. See some pictures and, you know, uploads of what happened there, you know. Hey, why not? <laughs> why we got the opportunity to see them all. See it all, definitely. As well as, looks like we also have um, announced that we've hired Jake Fail, but it's spelled P-F-E-I-L. I probably mispronounced it, but hey, he's the director of sports of medicine now. Um, he joins the Falcons after spending about 15 years at Florida State, so... Big ups to him. As well as, last but not least, looks like we have um, signed another tight end. Um, Ryan Becker, looks like he signed a one-year deal. And it's going to be piled up some more depth options at a position Arthur Smith likes to use a lot. So you already know when we got him off the Smith, that's his, that's his go-to. So, um, of course, Becker will be competing with Smith and Graham for a reserve role in this tight end group behind Hayden Hurt. So... It's going to be interesting. A little bit about his background. He was a former Cardinal and undrafted free agent, but he did get cut towards the end of his training camp. But he did appear in 46 games for SMU, making 16 receptions for 198 yards with five touchdowns. 
he had about 15 starts in his college career and it is kind of rumors that they kind of checked him out at his pro day and um took interest then if that was true you never know but other than that big ups to him you know it's gonna be interesting to see that come about with that competition though but until the next time people this is miss maggie t with atlanta falcons nation hit that subscribe button people and drop me a comment let me know what you think about all of this and are y'all ready for that draft we got that draft show coming up pretty soon people and i'm out peace